Good evening, YouTube. This is Nubian122, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you that transformer layout that uh, I started on over the weekend. As of right now, we're at 50.8 volts on my uh, radiant system, and uh, she's doing well. 0.7 uh, draw, but you know, that's nothing for this system. Uh, here's the layout for that transformer. It's actually a quite nice uh, device. You could take in, you know, 220, you can take in, or 240 rather, 120, uh, even 480. And convert it into anything you anything you need to do with the secondary windings inside that transformer. So, of course, I took the 240 settings that you see there and created a 120-240 split phase. And that's my guy. I actually got it used off of uh, off of eBay. It's a big monster weighs about maybe 80 pounds or something like that. But that's okay. It's doing its job. It's a little warm, but I guess that's to be expected. I have it uh, stood off the wall, maybe about you know, three quarters of an inch, just to allow some airflow behind it. I'll, I'll put some ventilation up just to uh, make sure that it always has space to vent. It's always nice to stand un underneath a uh, air handler, but you know, I'm sure it's safe. Here's my little secondary system. I just stuck this little uh, KK Moon wireless uh, meter with Sean, you know, in place. And it does a really good job, actually, of tracking, discharging, and charging, you know, amp hours, kilowatt hours, and such. So it's like a column meter, basically. You can actually see state of charge based upon historical information, how much battery power it took out throughout the, uh, throughout the night versus the next day when it's charging. It reverses those very same numbers so that when it zeroes out, you know you are back at the state of charge that you started with. So it's a smart little system. And uh, it, it sort of looks like that. Real easy to hook up. Just interrupts your uh, your negative, and then you just need a a lead. That red lead you see. Stick it to any power, any any uh, part of the positive of the battery system, and it'll work up to 30 volts. Since this is a 24 volt system, it'll do its job. And that's what's powering this. And that's running about 800 watts pretty much all the time. It's a couple of uh, fridges, a freezer, uh, on my file server, you know, that, that's 500 watts by itself. So those devices all stay on pretty much 24 hours a day. Let's see what else you can tell us. No input this time of night. So that's doing that. The hub ten from the outback. I disconnected today. The <clears throat> there's a FNDC. It's their uh, state of charge device. It's internal into this load center. I actually disconnected it today because in speaking with Outback, they told me that it does not work properly with lithium batteries. Now, I've been using it now for almost probably at least a month, a month and a half, and it seems to track the state of charge fine, but I'm going to let it stay offline for a period of uh, 
couple of days. And then I'll take some measurements and see exactly how the battery works overnight. I'll see exactly how, you know, it calls for power versus, you know, when it doesn't. And I'll see if, for some reason, that system was, you know, interfering with, with the, you know, the way that the uh, system operates. I will tell you this, since it's been disconnected today, this afternoon, it seems that my radiant system is just ultra quiet. It's not doing anything other than, than powering those loads and fans aren't even turning on. My two charge controls are sitting there doing their, their thing. Oh, let's not do that. Yeah, whatever. sleeping and <clears throat> as I said now that that transformer over there is you know basically wired into this box and powering these loads I can now power of course 220 loads that you see right there that's one of my uh, efficiency air conditioner units that's a two-ton Linux XP 25 uh, let's see that is this garage and all of its supporting circuits and those were 120 loads so obviously the transformer is doing her job that's great I put this, uh, this battery charger yesterday just because I needed to uh, you know, charge a 12 volt you know, uh, cells. These I, I wanted to do some testing, and I realized, you know, that my my smart charger, my balance charger, actually has a mode in it that allows you to do exactly that. If you select smart from the screen, you have a digital power option that you can go up to 28. I believe it's 28 volts and 20 amps so you can charge a 24 volt system you know using the proper CC slash CV you know charging method for lithium batteries so this is a, a really nice device I only wish that it had two balance ports of eight you know 8s as opposed to just one because then you could take you know 16s setups and basically uh, you know, balance charge all 16 cells at once. But, you know, you, you have to do, you take what you have. That's the fridge and freezer that it, that it actually uh, runs out here, plus some shop lights. Up, you know, my attic space up in here that my, uh, my server and supporting equipment is, uh, you know, drawing power up there. And everything is, is working like a dream. So, once I finish this testing, I'll be able to close everything up and make this real pretty and neat. And then I'll put some, some signage up that'll kind of show every, you know, every uh, legend for what things do so that anybody walking in here will be able to know what inverter runs, what, you know, panel over there and what the transformer does, what it actually is hooked up to do, that sort of thing. I'll put in a couple of boxes so all these gauges and such can go into. And, you know, all, all in all, I think it'll, it'll just look like a nice, clean setup. Anyway, that was the update, and hopefully it will, you know, help anybody who's looking to do you know to use one of these MPP solar uh, inverters you know I was afraid to go with it because of it being only 220 but after you know doing some research and figuring out that there are ways to make that 220 you know the 20, 220 Europe configuration work in the US with a split phase then you know we're, we're pretty much good to go. So, you know, any questions you have with that, you know, that I can answer, I'll definitely go ahead and do that. 